Welcome aboard to the Android Express. Well, you probably already know how to make a fresh Laravel application, but we're gonna go ahead and install native PHP for Android into a fresh application and boot it up. We're gonna make a new Laravel project. I'm gonna go ahead and use React. We're gonna call this um, Android React. In my code path, Laravel is built in authentication, pest, and we don't need Git. So let's go ahead and create that. All right, our application was created successfully. Let's close this down. I'm just gonna to scroll to the bottom here and paste in a couple lines of code. Let's go into our composer.json and then let's add this repositories. This is, um, this is just pointing at the package locally on my computer. Let's update our, our minimum stability to dev. Let's go ahead and run composer. Um, we can do update, that's fine. Uh, we're going to do PHP Artisan Native Android Install. All right, let's run this. PHP Artisan Native Android Run. That's going to compile our whole uh, package, take our Laravel application and put it inside and tell uh, Native PHP for Android everything we need to do in order to make the app run. We spent a lot of time um, optimizing this and getting this as small and as fast as possible um, to have a great developer experience. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, we're always gonna be working on that probably, but I think we got it down pretty quick. That took, uh, well, the build itself only took 10 seconds and it probably took another 10 or 15 to, uh, to uh, move all the files around that we needed. Um, before I demo this, I do want to show you, I want to take a look at this app uh, debug.apk that we just installed. So we can take a look at the size of the file. You can see here that the entire APK is 35.2 megabytes. That's, uh, we're pretty proud of that. When I first started this, it was at just around 100 megabytes and we got it shaved down pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and create a user and test some things out here. All right, looks like we're logged in. We can go to the dashboard. We can go to our settings. We can go to appearance. We can change this to dark mode if we want to, which I prefer. I enjoy my vision as long as I can at least. Also, I want to show something that I just worked on quite extensively today. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and change my name here and we're gonna click save. Now to show how this is working a little bit um, basically what it is is persisted data you don't want every time you make a build and you update the app stores for your users to lose the data that they've stored locally so i had a i created a persisted data area um, and moved the database into that and so that took quite a bit of effort a little bit about how this works is native php right now this app is running out of the native php android directory i'm going to go ahead and blow this away um, however if you run php artisan native native android uh, install force that's also going to blow the whole directory away so it's a fresh clean um, installation so i'm just going to run that and then PHP artisan native Android run. So we're gonna we're gonna wipe everything, recompile it, and rerun everything. I'll take a look, but I think that took about twenty five, maybe twenty seconds. Um, so this is a fresh uh, installation. Now you can see our uh, preferences stored, which is nice. Let's go ahead and log in. Shane at nativephp.com. Password is password. And I bet you we have our new name down here, Shane Rosenthal. 